Hi, welcome to Shikhan.com. In today's tutorial class, we will see how to use Microsoft Excel to prepare a professional salary sheet. To prepare a professional salary sheet, what are the fields that are required? In what situations our salaries are deducted? We will learn about what to add, what to subtract and generate a professional salary sheet. I will be taking today's tutorial class Alamin Hussain, founder and CEO of Shikhan. So let's go and start today's class. But before that, if you have not subscribed to our channel yet, then hit the subscribe button and don't forget to like and share the video. At first, let us discuss what are the things required to be remembered while preparing a professional salary sheet. For preparing a professional salary sheet, there are two important parts which means inside a salary sheet, what are the contents that are to be added? We must know what we should add in it. According to our country, it is not necessary for every business firm to prepare the same salary sheet for everyone. Some of the companies include TADA, some of the companies provide house rent and some of them don't provide that. Some of the companies have insurance policies like Provident Fund and some of the companies don't have something like that. Many companies have bonus system, so every company's salary system is different. So the main idea behind this is when we learn the calculations which means for a salary sheet. Whenever one column is plus which means whenever a bonus or a percentage is added. How are we going to add that bonus? And in the same way when some bonus or some amount is deducted from our house. How are we going to deduct those bonuses? So in today's class we are going to learn about the source and then we will prepare a salary sheet. In the beginning to prepare a salary sheet let us prepare a format for that salary sheet. Which means we are going to create a table which includes the format of the salary sheet. Or rather we will say that we will set the options for the salary sheet. So to prepare a professional salary sheet, what do we need to do first? First we'll write SL which is the serial number of the entries that we put. Then comes employee name. After this comes basic salary which means when your salaries are being calculated, it is divided into two parts. One is basic salary and one is gross salary. Policies like house rent, TADA and insurance percentage are based on the basic salary. So let us begin with it. Let's write basic here. After this we will write TADA. TADA are the allowances that are given by the company for traveling and touring. Or if rather a payment is given then that payment is called TADA. After this we will write house rent allowance. So now that is called HRA which means house rent allowance. Many of the companies provide house rent allowance to their employees. So in the same way if we have any other field, as I already told you in the start of the video, that according to our company if there are some other policies other than these, then we can add them one by one over here. After adding, finally we will write here gross salary. So gross salary. So by calculating these three I can get my gross salary. After this there is an option called provident fund which means the company which I am working. There are many companies which provide some funds in the way of insurance which are called fixed deposits which is later given by the company in abundance. That is basically provided when you are quitting the job that is resigning from the job. This is automatically deducted from the salary. Also there are many other small companies who do not pay provident fund to their employees. So in those cases we will not add them to our salary sheet. So the short formula for provident fund is E. P F which means employee provident fund. One more case is the total number of absent days which means the first place which we have given they are going to be added which is basic salary plus TADA plus HRA and many others like bonuses and sometimes overtime also. So let us create one more column of overtime. All these will be added and will make a total. The next fields which are to be given are going to be subtracted from the gross salary. For example, provided fund that will be subtracted although I will be getting it later but it will be subtracted from monthly salary. At the time of the salary, I won't be getting that money. If we want, we can also add a column for absence. That how much did the company deduct for that? And if we don't want that, we will not add it. And as I am automating the basic salary, in those cases if I want, I can mark that absent and deduct it from the salary automatically. And if not needed, I will write here net salary. Okay. After calculating this amount, we can get to know how much we have to pay. So let us begin with the format. Let us firstly add some names over here.
Okay. So let us begin with these three names. We can add as many names as we want. Right now, by the example of these three names, we will learn the sources. So what are the sources that we need to use? In the beginning, we will add the basic salaries. We will add the basic salaries for Imri Shamim, Shagor and Jubair. Let's say Shamim has a basic salary of 8,000 and Shagor has 15,000 and Jubair has 25,000. Okay. So here these are their basic salaries. On the basis of this, TADA and HRA are prepared. Usually, these fields are according to percentage. The employee who has 8,000 salary is provided a fixed amount of TADA. If that is an amount, then you will be calculating with addition. And if there is percentage, then we will give a bracket. And right here, for example, let's say we have 10% TADA. And the house rent will be 15%. This will be given according to your company's rule. This is just an example for understanding. The percentage is not fixed like that. It can vary for companies. We will calculate the percentage according to the government's rules and regulations. Only for understanding purpose, we have given here 10 and 15%. Okay. Now after this comes gross salary. We already know that the place where we will do gross salary is where we need to apply the source code. So the amount which we have over here Firstly, we will have to find out 10% of it. We know how to use sum. If you want to find out the 10% of this amount, then simply we will type here equals sum bracket. As we already know to find out percentage, we will first have to select this field. The name of this field is D4. After typing D4, we will divide it by 100 and multiply it by the given percentage. So which is 10. Then press enter. Then we will notice that 10% of 8000 has come here. So let us notice the source once again that to find out the percentage as we already know from the previous class we will again notice in this class that what we did to find out the percentage i have selected the name of the field then i have divided it by 100 and then after this we will multiply it by the percentage given now let us drag this from here and then as we already know the calculations of these fields will be done we have already discussed this in our previous class. If you have not watched our previous classes of MS Excel, then please go check it out. The link for the playlist is in the description. We have discussed everything from starting to end that you want to know about MS Excel. So we already have found out the TADA. And we already know that if we change the amount to 18,000, then the percentage amount will automatically change according to it. Similar function will be applied to the HRA. Here the source code will be the same which is equal to sum bracket and then after this we will select the basic salary field divide it by 100 and then multiply it by 15 then press enter so this is our 15 percent so now we have already found out the tada along with hra for example let us take a field of overtime we will not calculate the overtime column we will manually type the amount so now if i want to take a new column i will click here and after that, we will click on insert option and then we will see the column here. So let us add overtime here. Overtime. Now, if I don't give overtime in percentage basis because overtime is an hourly basis, all these topics for these things, separate sheets are prepared. There is a sheet for overtime. There is a sheet for TADA. All these sheets are separate. We will discuss all these in some other class, how to generate overtime sheet, how to create a personal salary sheet or any monthly gross sheet. So after this comes Mr. Shamim. How many days he was present, how many days he was absent, what are his bonuses and what is his overtime, all these require separate sheets. So now if I want to do it manually, that Mr. Shamim has done overtime for about 10 to 50 hours. So manually I will type the amount and overtime here. Let's say overtime was 2500. He has got 0 and he has got 1580. So in this way we will add the overtime here. So now we have the total salary field which says how much money has to be paid to whom. So we can sum this very easily. We can either write sum or even we can click on auto sum from the above and then we'll drag it. Then we'll notice the format for calculation has already been shown. Let me say this again. We have discussed all these in detail. If you have not watched our full course, then surely you can watch it and learn it. So press enter. Then we can see that the total salary has been generated. So here it is 12,500. Let's drag it. Then we will notice that our gross salary has been generated. After this comes EPF which is Employee Provident Fund. Provident Fund is generally in percentage or it can even be in numbers. For example, the employee with 8000 salary will be given 1000 rupees as Provident Fund. So different employees get different Provident Funds. And if you want to do this, we'll use the IF function. 
We have already discussed this in our previous class that how to use the if function. The links are in the description box. So if you want to use if function in this formula, you can use the if function. Let's say if the basic salary is more than 5000, then provident fund will be 500. If basic salary is more than 15000, then PF will be 1000. And if the basic salary is between 25 to 30,000, then the PF will be 2000. So you will do this as an exercise that you will solve this and make a sheet. And if you cannot do it, then comment us and we will help you. So let's see the percentage method. Let's say the provident fund is about 10%. For example, let us make it 12%. So even here, the source calculation will be same as the previous one. So equal to sum, then bracket, then divided by 100 and multiplied by 12. So now we can see that we have an output for provident fund. Let's drag it. So the amount that we have here will be deducted from the gross salary. Now provident fund is not subtracted from gross salary. So different companies have different policies. Some take from the gross salary, some take from the basic salary. This is followed by the rules of the company. And since we are learning the formula here, we will be preparing a salary sheet according to what the company requirements are. Or even for more information, we will surely search it in Google and we will make more documents. After that, we'll make it more professional. Now comes the net salary. We already know that if we subtract the EPF from gross salary, then the net salary will come out. So let's press on auto sum here. Select these two fields and subtract it. Okay. So the payable salaries are 11,540, 20,340 and 29,830. So in this way, if you want, we can create a basic salary format. By creating that, we can work for our employees. Salary format is an important part. This is a basic format. This even happens on advanced level where the details of every employee are given. How did he get 2500 for overtime? How many days he was present? How many days he was absent? All these personal details are present in the salary statement and is generated and given to the employee. So we will work in this way. We will practice this more and more. And if you face any problems, then you can comment us and let us know. Our question and answer department will be providing free help. And also you can like our Facebook page and message us over there. Or you can log in in forum.shikhan.com and then you can get your questions clarified by experts there. Thank you for being with today's class of shikhan.com.